If I'm hungry, there's no place I'd rather be than Disneyland Park. And that's exactly where I am today for this brand new Disney Snack Attack Disneyland Edition. Hello everyone, it's Craig and I am here in Disneyland Park for this Disney Snack Attack, which is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you like our content, you wanna support us, book a vacation through Dreams Unlimited Travel. It costs you no extra money and you get the support of an amazing Dreams Unlimited Travel agent. So head over to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com today for a free, no obligation quote. My Disney Snack Quest has led me to the one and only Edelweiss Snacks in Fantasyland, just out beyond the Matterhorn and the monorail is ripping by. I'm currently standing in front of Autopia wishing that it was already electric. Maybe by the time you're watching this Disney snack attack, years from now. But uh, I went to Edelweiss Snacks because I wanted to get one of my favorite Disneyland snacks that has become a recent favorite for me. And that's the cheesy garlic pretzel bread. It's $7.49 and it is what it says it is. It's cheesy garlic pretzel bread. A pretzel log with cheese and garlic. I mean, it, it sounds simple, but it is just so incredibly buttery and cheesy, and I just can't get enough. I was hoping for a better cheese pull there. Maybe I'm this middle one, because it is still warm and garlicky. And uh, yeah, I haven't had this in so long, obviously. It's my first time back at Disneyland since January. And I can't remember if I had the chance to get this in January or if I just got it back in August, but I have been craving it ever since. My wife is gonna be so mad when she finds out that I had it. This thing is so simple and I think that's why it works so well. The soft, warm pretzel is just the perfect, perfect uh, bread choice to, to have something like this. The garlic spread, you know, it definitely is helped with a ton of garlic and the cheese, but also, you know, it, it, there's, there's fresh herbs in there too. So it, it, it's, not as, uh, it's not just as one note as you think that cheesy garlic pretzel bed might be. Bed, bread, I would sleep on a bed of this if that's what I accidentally said. Yeah, I would absolutely sleep on a bed of cheesy garlic pretzel bread. And I love that, you know, they cut it into three pieces and then technically you can like split it in half and so you can share it with even more people. Surprise, this is the inside. Uh, but I don't think I would do that. I think I would just have one for myself and then worry about how I feel later. But two people can easily share this. $7.49 might seem a little steep for cheesy garlic pretzel bread because it is light, uh, but it ends up being just the right amount that you actually probably do want to eat with it. I know the one time I was here, they tried to upsell us with like marinara sauce to uh, dip this in and I think that that would be a terrible mistake. If I remember correctly, the marinara sauce was just like, you know, a shelf stable one. So it was, you know, peel, peel off the top and you're just gonna have it at room temperature. Not, not good, not quality. You know, if they had their own marinara sauce like brewing somewhere in the back, I could understand that might be an option to go with, but not when it's just, uh, you know, a shelf stable version like that. That's that's not good. The only the only way that's ever good is if it's a cheese sauce, not not marinara sauce. But yeah, I think this is just perfect on its own. Uh, definitely a little acidity could help to balance it out. But uh, for the for the upcharge, I wouldn't ever believe it's worth it. Just have it like it is. The weirdest interaction just happened where I am like looking right at the Autopia cars. A little kid stopped and just stared at me for a second until his dad yelled at him, what are you doing? So that happened. Not taken away from my cheesy garlic bread enjoyment, but my eyes were bigger than my stomach. And I know I said, get one for yourself, don't share it with someone. I have already taken that back. I can't finish this by myself yet. Whoops, almost wasn't gonna be able to do what I was gonna do because my paper almost blew away here, but uh, I'm gonna wrap mine back up and stick it in my backpack. and. I think it'll still be good later. I'm assuming that like once it's out of the temperature, what, I maybe have like 30 minutes before it starts to go bad. Like two hours will probably give me a stomach ache, but might still be okay. I don't know, maybe there's no amount of time because you know, I'll eat pizza that's been sitting out for 12 hours and maybe that's why I feel terrible all the time, but I'll, I'll figure it out. It's my own journey to take. And uh, you know what? If you come to Disneyland, maybe you'll take the same exact journey as I'm about to embark on. But 
I'm gonna wrap up this Disney snack attack. Thank you so much everyone out there for joining me for this Disney snack attack. If you wanna support us again, dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Head over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash DizUnlimited for exclusive Diz Team content. Uh, if you are watching this, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, questions, video suggestions in the comment section. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye and I'll see you all again real soon next time we're back with another Disney snack attack. Yummy, yummy.